Hello dear students, welcome to EPG Partshala. Myself, Dr. D.C. Saxena, Professor and Head of the Department of Food Engineering and Technology at Sant Longoval Institute of Engineering and Technology, Longoval. I am here to present the paper, Technology of Spices and Condiments. And the present module will explain you the importance of refining in case of pepper processing, its advantages and benefits as well as limitations by my co-author, Mr. Narendra Kumar Chandra. Hello students, welcome to EPG Parshala. I am Narendra Kumar Chandla from Sant Longobal Institute of Engineering and Technology. Today, I am going to talk about module number 9 of paper number 10, Technology of Spices and Condiments. In this module, we will be discussing about the refining of pepper. Pepper is cultivated since millennia. Pungent and aromatic. It is grown in Southern Asia. Black pepper is a flowering vine cultivated for its fruit, which is further refined and used as a spice and season. The fruit known as peppercorn when dried and become dark red and black when fully matured. Depending upon the harvesting time and processing, peppercorn can be black, white, green and red. So, the same fruit can be realized to produce white pepper, red pepper and green pepper. In pepper refining process, the berries are firstly harvested, then separated from the spikes which have been attached to the plant. The separated berries are subjected to drying for a week or even less than a week. And these berries periodically turned off for better rate of removal of moisture and for the uniform drying. The shrunken and the wrinkled black pepper are taken for either for whole packaging or for the powder preparation. The outer skin of the pepper is removed for its better appearance and the skin removed is further used for the recovery of the oil out of the pepper seed by the process of steam distillation so as to improve the overall process of production of pepper in terms of increment in the economics. In this module, we will talk about processing, harvesting, white pepper refining process, type of refining process and the methods of decortication. Introduction Black pepper, scientific name is Piper nigrum, is known as the king of the spices. Pepper is one of the oldest and the most popular spice in the world. It is a perennial climbing vine indigenous to Malabar coast of India. The hot pungent spice made from its berries is one of the earliest spices which is known in India. Black pepper is grown under a variety of agricultural schemes ranging from home gardens, mixed crops in coffee plantation and monocrops on slopes and in valleys. After almost three years, the plants are over two meters tall and are 
bushy. They start flowering at the onset of the rains. The fruits are picked by hand and are harvested six to eight times each season at two week intervals. A long rainy season, fairly high temperature and partial shade are required for the best growth of the plant. Different varieties of the pepper available are beetle pepper. Scientific name is Piper beetle. Then is Indian long pepper which is known as Piper longum. Then is Java long pepper. The scientific name is Piper retrofactum. Then is rough leaved pepper and the scientific name is Piper amalogo. Introduction Black pepper, the king of the spice. The fruit is picked by hand and harvested to six to eight times in the season. A long runny season, fairly high temperature and partial shade are required as discussed for the best growth of the plant. Pepper plant is a native to the Malabar coast. Kerala is the largest producer of the pepper, accounting for over 95% of the India's total output. Pepper is cultivated in many parts of the Kerala, like Iduki, Kotayam, Kananore, Calicut, and Vayanade. Pepper is cultivated since millennia. Pungent and aromatic, it is grown in southern part of the India. Black pepper is flowering vine cultivated for its fruit, which is refined and used as a spice or seasoning. As far as the fruit is concerned, it consists of peppercorn when dried and become dark red and black when fully matured. Depending upon the harvest time and the processing, peppercorn can be black, white, green and red. So, the same fruit can be utilized to produce white pepper, red pepper and green pepper. Pepper gets its spicy heat mostly from a compound known as pepperin, which is found both in the outer fruit and in the seed. Black pepper contains between 4.6 to 9.7 percent pepperin by mass and white pepper having slightly more than that. Refined pepperin by weight is about 1% as a hot as the capsaicin in chili peppers. The outer fruit layer left on the black pepper also contains important odor which give citrusy, woody and floral notes. Pepper harvesting As far as Harvesting is concerned, pepper wine fruit comes after one year of plantation and transform from flower to a fruit within six to nine months. First harvest is taken in third year of the plantation. The pepper fruit are harvested during fully mature stage before full ripening. Spikes are rubbed, scrubbed, trembled to detach the fruit. Average yield of the dry pepper is 
in range from 18 to 20 kg per hectare pepper processing as far as pepper processing is concerned various institutes especially the research institutes which are devoted for the spices as well as for the medicinal crops have tried to develop appropriate and low cost technology for the processing of the black and white paper institute known as RIMSC research institute for spices and medicinal crops situated in Indonesia is working for this in case of white pepper processing soaking process is not necessary while in case of black pepper processing it is done furthermore pericarp of the berries can be directly removed from the cores by the process of decortication research institute for spices and medicinal crops had designed two type of pepper threshers these are paddleman powered and electrical motor powered threshers threshers also need to a machine which is based on the principle of friction and impact pepper thresher the pepper thresher consists of five parts first is hopper in hopper feed is incorporated and a required feed rate could be adjusted number two is the separation part decortication based upon friction and pressure to separate out the berries and their skins from the core component is applied the separation part is also known as the corticator number three outlet in outlet spikes and cores are separated number four is the power source power source is required to run the mechanical parts of the thresher which is having decortication as one of the unit fifth is threshing part threshing part is a part where aeration and decortication having their same effect on the same time pepper processing thresher used are paddleman power thresher and electrical motor power thresher Threshing efficiency of the manual thresher is low. Therefore, it is used for the small scale production. The thresher also needs to be a cube with a suitable component so as to separate the berries. This machine is based on the principle of friction and impact mechanism. Cylinder disc and fin type decorticators are commonly used which based upon the mechanism and the principle discussed earlier cylinder and fin type have similarity in the mechanism of decortication but have limitations due to occurrence of defection on the surface of the cores this weakness have been minimized by using this type decorticators the decorticating machine of this type is based on the principle of pressure and friction as well as combination of these principles pepper processing in the pepper processing trying can be done in sun or by the mechanical means 
this can be further done by electrical appliances like microwaves or ovens or could be done by solar dryers. After proper drying, the moisture content should be around 8%. Then the grading of the grain varies using a mesh is desired so as to remove the lighter berries and pinheads and classify on the basis of their sizes. After this, dried berries are also graded on the basis of shape, size and color. As far as shape is concerned, some do have some kind of pressure and have different size than the round shape. After this, the dried pepper is cleaned to remove extraneous matter like dirt, grit, stones, stalks, etc. And berries are graded as per as size, shape and moreover they can be graded on the basis of their density differences. After this, the berries are packed and stored at ambient temperatures. Pepper processing equipment. Mainly two types of threshers are used as we have discussed. Threshing efficiency of the manual thresher is low. Thresher also need to be cubed with a suitable component and the basic principle of the machine is friction and impact mechanism. This mechanism and the pectoral representation is there in the figure. Pepper processing equipment. This machine is based on the principle of friction and impact. The pedal powered thresher can be applied at the small holder farming level. Whereas the electrical motor powered thresher is more effective at large farming level. This pepper thresher consists of five main parts. Threshing part, hopper, separator part, outlet and power source as discussed. Pepper processing equipment. Cylinder, disc and fin type decorticators are commonly used. The decorticating mechanism of the disc type is based on principle of pressure and friction and as well as the combination of this principle. The objective of the mechanism is to crush or damage the structure of the skin of the berries without damaging the inner core. The paper decorticator consists of four main parts. First is decorticating part, second is hopper, third is outlet and fourth is power supply as a source. Process description for the black paper. In this process, the berries are harvested and separated from the spikes. The separated berries are then subjected to drying for a week or less than a week. And these berries periodically turned off for better rate of moisture removal and for the uniform drying. The shrunken and the wrinkled black paper are taken for either whole packaging or converted into powder for the various uses. As we are talking about the pepper refining, here we will be talking about water steeping as one of the pepper refining process. Under water steeping, the light fraction of the pepper like pinheads and the light berries which come to the surfaces due to less, lesser densities are removed and the remaining mass is rolled over at least thrice a day during the retting stage. On the 11th day, the outer skin is removed 
by gentle rubbing and these skinned fruits are further put in a tank containing bleaching solution. It is then allowed to stay in the bleaching solution for two days after which they are drained, washed and subsequently sun dried. Then another process is boiling technique. This particular technique has been developed by CFTRI which is known as Central Food Technology Research Institute by Sud. In this in process involves steaming or boiling the mature green fruits for a period of 10 to 15 minutes. The outer skin of the fruit gets softened during the steaming process and is removed by passing through a pulping machine. The these skin fruits are washed and treated with sulfur dioxide or bleaching powder solution after which they are washed and dried in the sun. Then another process is decortication process. Whole dried black pepper as a fruit can be processed to white pepper by employing decorticating machines. A refining process, decortication process. In the decortication process, the traditional rating process is the most popular and Product obtained by this process is preferred by the consumers. Whole dried black paper fruits can be processed to white paper by employing decorticating machines. At this process of decortication based upon friction and pressure, so that we can separate out where is an unwanted covering. The loss of the paper due to the breakage will result in reduced yield and hence the white paper obtained by this method is expensive. Decortication Also the characteristics associated after decortication with the traditional product is lacking in case of white paper which is obtained after the decortication technique. Therefore, it is not preferred. Therefore, decorticated black paper is a form of white paper produced by decortication of outer skin of the black paper. Refining process. Ripened berries are boiled for about 15 minutes and depulping was done. The papers are subsequently washed, bleached, drained and dried. White paper is white inner corn obtained by removing outer skin pericarp of berries which is done before or after the process of drying. The most widely practiced method of the production is writing a crude process that budgets only inferior quality white paper. A limited quantity of white paper is also being managed through selective decortication. Decorticated black paper is a form of white paper which is produced by decortication. As discussed, the biological process is referred or the preferred to others since it enables preparation of skin-free paper without foreign substance getting added into it and valuable ingredients being flushed out of the kernel. Refining process. The biological process is preferred 
to others since it enables preparation of skin free paper without foreign substances getting added into it. This technology have been patented because it is a fast, simple and pollution free, especially a microbial technology that ensures production of better quality white paper. It also yields methane energy as a byproduct. The technology is now under the commercial implementation at Vayanade Social Service Society in North Kerala. Summary Paper is manufactured and refined by one of the following techniques water stepping and rutting technique, steaming or boiling technique, chemical technique, decortication technique, and the biological technique. Outer skin of the paper is removed for its better appearance and the skin removed is further used for the recovery of paper oil which is done by steam distillation to improve the process economics. The biological process is preferred to the others since it enables the preparation of skin free paper without foreign substance getting added or valuable ingredients being flushed out, out of the kernel. So students, let us now summarize what we have learned in this module. Pepper is manufactured and refined by one of the following techniques. As we know, water steeping, writing technique, steaming, boiling technique, chemical technique, decortication technique and even with the biological method. Pepper is pungent, aromatic spice and is grown in the southern India. The fruit known as peppercorn when dried and become dark red and black when fully mature. Depending upon the harvesting time and processing, peppercorn can be black, white, green and red. In the pepper refining, we have discussed that the berries are harvested and separated from the spikes, which have been attached to the plant. The separated berries are subjected to drying for a week or even less than a week and then these berries are periodically turned off for better rate of removal of moisture and for the uniform drying of the pepper seeds. The shrunken and the wrinkled back paper are taken for whole packaging and for the powder preparations. The outer skin of the paper is removed for its better appearance and skin removed is further used for the recovery of the pepper oil by the process of steam distillation so as to improve the process economics. So that's all about the refining of the paper. Thank you. Now you have knowledge about the refining process in the case of paper. Now the normal processing of paper will be explained to you in the coming module. Thank you.